And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! Ifiatu Melifanwu is an elite player for the Detroit Lions, a young playmaker that the Detroit Lions drafted in the 2021 NFL Draft is finally healthy enough to stay on the field, finally being put in positions to succeed, finally being given starting reps, and he looks like an all-pro safety. The former 101st overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, a cornerback from Syracuse, was a player that a lot of Lions fans had a lot of high expectations for. After a rookie season where he only played in seven games due to injury, but had multiple passes defended versus Devontae Adams, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him twice and had multiple passes defended, as well as two fumble recoveries in just seven games. A lot of people thought that Ifiatu Melofanu could be the starting boundary cornerback for the Detroit Lions for a very long time. Going into his second year, Ifiatu Melofanu made the transition to safety. He was decided, and the coaching staff decided, that they were going to use him more as a safety, more of a just overall defensive back player, and they wanted to get him reps at that safety position instead of having him be a sole boundary cornerback. Now, this backfired immediately for the Detroit Lions as Ifiatu Melifanu didn't really see the field as Tracy Walker saw the field a lot more as Kirby Joseph, the former third-round pick, started to emerge as a playmaker for the Lions defense. And Ifiatu kind of took a backseat as a third safety for the Detroit Lions. And coming into 2023, Ifiatu Melifanu became the fourth safety for the Detroit Lions as Kirby Joseph became safety one, as C.J. Gardner-Johnson became safety two, as Brian Branch essentially became safety three, and he was fighting with Tracy Walker for that safety four and safety five positions, respectfully. However, fast forward a couple weeks later and fast forward to the end of the season, and Ifiatu Malofano has proven that not only was that transition to safety the right choice for his career and the right choice for the Lions defense, it might have turned him into an all-pro, if not defensive player of the year, worthy candidate. Now, that might sound like a lot, but you listen to me throughout the video, and I'll tell you exactly why that is. Now, if Yatu Malofanwu is coming off of a Week 16 Defensive Player of the Week campaign, where he saw five total tackles, two sacks, two passes defended, and a game-winning, game-sealing interception to give the Detroit Lions their first NFC North crown in 30 years years but this isn't a one game wonder type of thing this isn't me saying oh he had one great game and all of a sudden he's an all pro caliber player he's the best player on the defense this has been brewing for a very very long time going back to his first couple starts of the season in week three and four in the absence of both kirby joseph and cj gardner johnson both going down with injuries for a long and extended period of time Ifiatu Melofanu became the starting strong safety for this Detroit Lions defense, and in between weeks three and four versus the run-heavy Atlanta Falcons and the run-heavy Green Bay Packers, Ifiatu totaled six total tackles, one tackle for loss, and seven one tackle for loss and a single pass defended while playing on average about 75% of defensive snaps in those two games. He was getting a lot more workload than he typically does, but he wasn't really a full-time safety. He was a guy that was playing about three quarters of the defensive snaps and certainly being impactful, but continuously being rotated out with guys like Brian Brand, continuously being moved around for different players in the secondary and not really being handed the keys to the car just yet. After those two weeks, Kirby Joseph came back and Aaron Glenn decided to shift around the defense a little bit, giving the nod to former captain and former starter Tracy Walker to man the defense in the absence of C.J. Gardner-Johnson. And the defense got a little bit worse. Over that month, month and a half period, the Detroit Lions defense was not very good. They had some great starts. They had some great games. But overall, they were a middling of the road, if not below average defense. So going into week 13, the Detroit Lions decided to make a change. They decided to give number six, Ifiatu Malofanu, a real shot and a real starting opportunity. They let him play 99% of the defensive snaps against Chicago in his first true start since week four. And in those 99% of snaps, he totaled four tackles and one fourth down stop where he single-handedly tackled 
DJ Moore in the open field on a fourth and one to prevent the first down, give the Detroit Lions the ball back and give them a true spark to help them go into halftime with a 13 to 10 lead over the Chicago Bears. Now, the Chicago Bears, again, are an extremely run-heavy team, and Afiatu Malafonwu really wasn't able to do a whole lot in coverage, wasn't tested very many times, but on the extreme amount of snaps that he had in the few plays that he was able to impact the game, he did so at an extremely high and extremely encouraging level. So the week after that, he got another nod. He got another start playing 97% of snaps in the week 14 game versus the Denver Broncos, where he saw 97% of snaps versus a more pass happy approach team versus a team with a quarterback that will throw the ball in an offensive play color that likes to air it out and likes to spread things out. Ifiatu Melifonwu shined for the very first time this season. Having nine total tackles, one tackle for loss, one sack, one forced fumble, and two passes defended, including the first turnover of the game, which completely flipped the momentum of the game on its head, including a pass defended in the red zone. It would have been caught about the five-yard line as the last man as the deep safety had a huge pass breakup there to essentially prevent the Broncos from getting into the red zone and probably, if not likely, scoring a touchdown. He was able to go on the blitz and get a sack. He was able to get a tackle for loss. He was able to punch the ball out and strip it from Russell Wilson on the opening defensive drive of the game. And he was everywhere on Saturday night versus the Denver Broncos. And a lot of people started to take notice of Ifiatu Melifano. For the first time, the 101st overall pick was finally getting some real opportunities to make plays through the air. And he looked like an elite safety. So he got another nod going into week 15, the 15th game of the season as the Detroit Lions took on the Minnesota Vikings on the road for the division title. Ifiatu stepped up once again to the plate, playing 98% of defensive snaps, having five total tackles, two tackles for loss, two sacks, two passes defended, as well as a game ceiling and game winning interception. Now, he also forced a fumble. It was originally called a fumble on his first blitz and first sack of the day. It was a, it was eventually called back as just a regular sack, but he showed again that ability to strip the ball from the quarterback when he is sent on the blitz. He used his length to get around the running back the first time and just used his quickness and his speed to get to the quarterback on a free blitz the second time around. He had multiple tackles for loss, multiple sacks, multiple passes defended, and again, came away with the game winning interception. He showed the ability to stack and shed inside the box. He showed the ability to play at the deep safety post position and be able to take the football away. He shut down the deep ball several times in a row and again was able to make the biggest play of his career and arguably the biggest play in Lions franchise history in the last three decades. Now, I know that it is a small sample size. Technically, Ifiatu Melifano has only started five games for the Detroit Lions this year. And even then, that's a technicality because he actually didn't take the first snap of the game versus the Atlanta Falcons in week three. However, he did play 81% of snaps, so I do consider that a start on his resume as well. So Ifiatu Melifano has five games where he's really played impactful defensive snaps, where he's played 75 plus percent of snaps for the Detroit Lions in those five games. That being week three versus Atlanta, week four versus Green Bay, week 14 versus Chicago, week 15 versus Denver, week 16 versus Minnesota. That is five games where Ifiatu has been a real true impact player on defense, or at least given the snaps in order to do so now Ifiatu in those games has shown the ability to blitz at an extremely high and an extremely efficient level he's shown the ability to play a box safety he's able to step up and make tackles for losses he's able to kind of put the running back on the ground able to turn you know what would, would be positive plays into negative plays for the offense and he is able to cover as a deep safety as of course we saw on the game winning pick from him in the essentially NFC North championship game. Now, again, I understand it is a small sample size, but if you were to take the five games that Ifiatu Melifanu has started for the Detroit Lions and extend it to a full regular season, a full 17 game season, which is a little bit is a little bit biased towards him because he has been playing elite recently. But if you take the three average games that he played in the two really good games that he's played over the last two weeks versus the real pass happy offenses, and you extend those five games to a 17 game season, that would put Ifiatu Melofanu on pace for 85 total tackles, 10 sacks, 21 tackles for loss, 17 passes defended, three forced fumbles, and three interceptions. Not only are those all pro numbers, those are defensive player of the year numbers. Those are 
numbers that would make Ifia Tumelo Fanwu the best defender in the NFL statistically and probably win him NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Now, obviously, that pace isn't necessarily sustainable. The pace that he's been on over the last two games and the way he's been playing over the last, let's say, three to four games has is probably not sustainable. He's not going to average nine tackles a game. He's not going to walk away with two to three sacks every single two to three one to two games but this just goes in to show you this goes into this perspective of how good he has been for the Detroit Lions this year it's been limited it's been five games but in a 17 game projection of just the season he's played this year whether that be limited snaps on the first couple of weeks or extended snaps in the recent weeks he was on pace he is on pace for a 17 game season and I'll repeat it one more time for the numbers 85 tackles 10 sacks 21 tackles for loss, 17 passes defended, three forced fumbles, and three interceptions. Those those numbers are ridiculous. Those numbers would win him best defensive back. They would win him defensive player of the year. They would make him a unanimous all-pro, and that is the player that the Detroit Lions have kept on the bench for over three months of football in between the first Green Bay game and the last Chicago game. Ifiatu Melifanu is an elite playmaker. I have wanted Ifiatu to get on the field since his rookie year. He was great as a rookie at the boundary. He was promising in his second year and the limited snaps he got before he got hurt. And in year three, he's finally put it all together. He's finally stayed healthy. He's finally been given the opportunity. And Ifiatu Melifanu has turned into not only a good safety, not only a starting caliber safety, but a legitimate all pro contender at the safety position for the Detroit Lions. So with all that being said, that leaves just one question left for the Detroit Lions. When CJ Gardner Johnson comes back, because he is likely to return this week versus Dallas, what do you do with your safety trio? What do you do with Kirby Joseph? What do you do with Brian Branch? What do you do with CJ Gardner Johnson? And what do you do with arguably the best defensive player you've had over the last two games in Efiat Jumelo Fun? It was four safeties. There's really three spots to put them. Who gets playing time and who plays where and when? With all that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. And we will answer that question in tomorrow's video. So stay tuned. But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys right now. Thank you all so very much for watching. And until next time, and as always, go Lions. <laughs>